What's up, dear viewers? Today I will show you how to do automatic wind load generation in Autodesk Robo Structural Analysis. We are, we are going to do a wind load simulation. So the first thing um, you need to go to loads. Uh, you need to go to uh, wind load. You can see we have two options, wind load simulation. So you need to export that to CFD. But for now, we are just going to generate wind loads. So I'll click wind loads. Okay, so um, you can see my wind, uh, my wind. We have various direction, uh, plus X, negative X, negative and positive Y, and also the 45 degree angle. Um, Today, I'm going to use a wind speed of uh, about 160, uh, 160 feet per second. That is, that is about um, 115 MPH. So the first thing we need to do is to model our cladding. So I'll go to geometry and I'll, do, I'll select cladding. We need to model cladding. I'll start with rectangle. From that point, that point, you just need to select three points. Okay, from, I want that point, that point, all the way to the end. So I want to pick this, that point, that point all the way, that point. I can hold shift and the scroll button to rotate using your, uh, your mouse. And then from that point, that point, all the way to that point. Now we can use Contour to model uh, uh, about that point. Um, so I did not change that rectangle. We need to change this to contour. So I will undo what, that. We need to change to contour, sorry, from that point. That point, that point, that point, and back to the origin. I from that point, that point, that point, that point, back to the origin. We're doing the same thing on this side from that point, that point, that point, back to the origin. So I've made an, a mistake that I can just undo and uh, uh, click contour. I won't start at that point, that point, that point, that point, and uh, finally back my origin. I can do the same from that point, that point, that point, that point, and uh, I want to go back um, to my origin, okay. I can just rotate this. I want to model a rectangular contour from that point, uh, that point, and back and to that point. Okay. We have completed to model our cladding, so I'll close. Now, I will I will just do some load cases. Start with load types. 
I will add dead. Dead load, I'm going to add live load. And uh, uh, find, uh, add snow. And wind load. We have those load cases. So, um, I won't select my elements and uh, I will delete these elements and I'll go select my cladding, right click. I won't select similar by uh, material type. Okay, so I will copy this, all of that and paste it here. And uh, I want to simulate about those directions. So you can go to wind profile. Uh, for wind profile, I prefer to use one, the value of one there. Okay, and uh, we can start our simulation. So it's simulating around about the positive x. Then, and I have selected all of those positive and negative x and positive and negative y. So it's going to take a few minutes. Then we can we can see we can uh, see the wind loads generated. I can just take this screenshot. So it's important for me. Let me just take the screenshot. Um, as you can see what is happening. I'm just going to save my screenshot. As we are waiting for our wind load simulation to complete. I'll take another screenshot here. This is the exact screenshot that I want. Um. Just want to. So sorry for those screenshots. Um, 
Yes. And so wind simulation completed. So we have generated the load cases for positive uh, X, Y, and negative X, Y, 160 feet per second. Okay, we can now close. So now I'm going to add my uh, my other load cases. I'll go to load so that we can generate um, our, so you can see the load cases, the wind load cases. Um, so if I go to uh, this table, loads, Now um, um, I can select, there's no, uh, the wind simulation, this one, and select that. So it is important, it is important to, when you're generating loads, It is important to keep this terrain level at zero level, okay? So I'm not going to do that again to generate. So you can see uh, the, the loads generated. Now, go back to start. Okay, and then um, I want to insert other load cases to define other load load type. I'll go to surface. Um, so this is the I want dead load of ten psf. That is um, ten divided by a thousand is zero point zero one psf. That is kip per foot. So. I will add in the local, so I'll select. I won't select this cladding. This is a roof, roof dead. And then um, apply. I hope it's in the negative direction. And again, I will add surface. So let me delete that case because Because I did not change here to dead load, so I will add. Okay, I will uh, add in that direction and then apply. Okay, so I will add live load so that we can quickly generate our 20 PSF, that is group live load. 20 PSF value of 1,000 is about uh, 0 0.02, okay. In the local, add, then apply. Then I want to add snow load, 30 PSF, that is 0 0.3, now in the global. Add, then apply. Is the snow load acts in the global uh, direction. Now I'm going to wind simulation. So I can go now to loads, automatic combinations, then go to more. Yes. I want ultimate and serviceability next. Once uh, put back, so I want to generate. Just generate automatic 
Yes. Next. So there's something uh, there's something wrong with what I'm doing here. So dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, me. Live. So I'm not sure what is happening. There's fully automatic combination, you can read. So there's something wrong with what I'm doing, but it's another, we're going to use to do that in another tutorial. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video.